Are you stuck in ELO hell? Do you want to get out? Maybe you just like watching low ELO plays because you find them entertaining. Either way, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Graham Scrubberfly, and I've been playing League of Legends for around the last 10 years or so, and there was a time when I was stuck in low ELO as well. Some might argue that I still am. But I can show you how to climb on iron, bronze, silver, and even gold. So, if that sounds like fun to you, join me on this journey. I'm starting down in the depths of Iron 4 Zero LP, climbing all the way up to at least gold to show you how to escape ELO Hell. This episode, I'm going to be playing what I consider to be one of the best low ELO junglers, Udyr. He's basically been strong since his rework, he's tanky, he's versatile, he deals good damage, and I'm going to show you how you can carry games in low ELO. Hello! All and welcome to another exciting episode of Escape from Elo Hell, the series where I grip you tight and pull you from perdition. I'm your humble host, Gramps Scrubberfly, and today I'm playing Udir Jungle. Now, Udir is a pretty good uh, champion all across ranks, but definitely in low elo, just because he's just got so many different uh, abilities and build paths and all that type of stuff. Um, so today, I'm playing against a Kane in the jungle, uh, and I am going to start at my top side because I want to path down towards bot because I believe that that is where I am going to get the most bang for my buck. Their bot lane doesn't really have any escapes. My bot lane has CC, so I think that that'll go well for me. Now, if you don't know what Udyr does, I'll give you a quick rundown. Uh, his passive essentially allows him to switch between stances. He doesn't have an ultimate ability. And then uh, once you reach your passive being full, like this red bar, then you get to do uh, empowered abilities. Uh, his Q gives him attack speed and damage, his empowered Q does more damage, uh, and even more so to isolated targets. His W gives him a shield, empowered version gives him more shields. His E gives him movement speed and stuns targets that he auto-attacks. Uh, the empowered version lets him ignore CC, and then his ult makes him do damage around him, uh, and then his empowered version makes that damage, like, follow people instead of just being around him. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with this red buff, and then I'm gonna go to Krugs and, uh, Chickens, and I'm gonna clear down towards Bot, and look for probably a gank down there uh, so I'm gonna activate my empowered ability here and we're just gonna auto attack this down you know and in the meantime while you're clearing camps you can always look at your lanes and just see what's going on with them so I'm gonna go ahead and smite this and we are going to get our oh I meant to get R. I misclicked that's really sad that's actually gonna slow down our clear quite significantly uh, but uh, doesn't mean we can't work with it, uh, but looking at our lanes, we have a Teemo top versus an Aatrox, and the reason I decided not to start bot side for the best, uh, cl best leash and go towards top is because I felt like... Teemo doesn't have any CC and Aatrox is relatively hard to kill, and I don't think I'm going to be getting anything from that lane. Whereas bot lane, I feel like there are more opportunities to get kills, and mid lane is just a scaling lane, both, um the mid laner on their team, the Vladimir, and the mid laner on my team, the uh, Aurelian Soul, are both scaling champions, so they really just don't uh, lend a lot to early game ganks. So I want Captain to go Timo towards my bot lane. And look, hey, my top lane is doing well even without me, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my R third, uh, because I forgot to get it second. Well, not forgot, I misclicked. So I went ahead and got that now, and we'll just switch between our stances, because every time you switch between stances, uh, it builds up your passive that much faster, so that you can get your empowered abilities, which helps you clear. And now we're gonna skip blue buff and go to Gromp. That way, when our camps are spawning, they're in that order. We don't wanna have a weird gap between uh, our wolves and our Gromp spawning. So we're just gonna go ahead and do our Gromp real quick. Uh, and I'll probably do Empowered Q here because it's a single target camp. Uh, and if I had gotten my R second and my W third, I would have more health on this clear. But because I did not, uh, I'm going to be a little bit less healthy. But uh, Udyr has a really good clear speed in the early game. So we're going to go ahead and get this done around 3.30. If we had gotten our uh, our second, it would be done already, probably. But we're going to kite this down, and we're going to look for getting this crab. See, I don't see anything to get done around here. I don't see anything done to get mid, really. I'm going to go ahead and look at their jungle and make sure that it is gone. And if it is, I can go ahead and just back, because I don't think that I'm going to cross mid and get that crab. So I'm just going to back and look to get this camp when it spawns. And in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and get this faded ashes, and we will run back top. 
Now, while we're running back top, we can see that this wave is pushed into tower, which means it's going to bounce back towards the Aatrox. Uh, but it looks like they have a fight going on. And also, their jungler must be up here because he's hit that plant towards me. I'm going to go this way and probably end up popping a ghost to try to get to this guy. Because uh, I think we win this, honestly. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop ghost and run at this guy. Pop my E. Get on him. And now this guy's here. I'll just get on him as well. Well, they're mid laners here, so I'm just going to back off, pop my shield to protect myself. Um, and I mean, I'm not really scared. I just don't want to overstep. But now that my mid laner is here, okay, he flashed, so that's good. So let's go ahead and pop my shield so I don't die here. And I mean, we just scared them off. And oh, look, I got a kill out of that. I'm not sure exactly how that happened. Maybe my red buff, but that's awesome. So I can go down here, check this crab, which is gone, which is fine. And then we will go up here. I'm going to go ahead and pop my potion. My top laner died, but he did kill their jungler, which is nice. And he has nothing up here. And this is going to spawn soon. I'm going to go ahead and get my like the video just to keep my hey, and gold hey, you rolling. like the video, like it, please. Thanks. Um, your W also gives you health as well as that shield. We are going to max our R first. Um, and looks like I may want to walk back top. He does have a level disadvantage, but I think that we can win this because he is just so far forward. So I'm just going to walk up and attempt to fight him, I think. Does he have a ward here? He might have a ward here. Okay, so I'll just start walking towards my raptors instead. Uh, I'm going to put a ward here and actually... This is greedy. I don't know that this is the right play, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do these grubs. Okay. I don't have flash, so I kind of got to play this in a certain way. I'm just going to run towards my mid laner. I don't think we fight this. As a matter of fact, I think we just leave it and let them have it. So trying to get on those grubs was greedy, but... Um, eh. I made a bad decision and we're just gonna be okay with the fact that we made a mistake and move on. So they get those grubs. I got one of them, but we can go ahead and just go back to farming. We do have 1300 gold, so we're relatively strong and I can just keep farming, keep farming forever. And become tanky and do a bunch of damage and hopefully that will transition itself into a good mid game for us. Uh, we have no deaths right now. We're ahead in farm on the uh, on our jungle opponent, the Kane, uh, and it looks like bot lane might be a good spot for me right now. So I'm gonna start walking that way. I do have two camps over here, but this push in looks pretty good for me. Let's see what's going on over here. I'll walk over this way. Slow her down so that we can get onto her. Oh, I got snared inside of the MF ults. That was really well played by the Lux. That sucks for me. Now that um, exhibition and failure is over, we're gonna try to run back towards this bot lane uh, because I think that we can salvage something out of this. I do have like camps to farm down here. They have a ward right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just get this camp real quick while we're waiting. I have my team here. Uh, they're probably doing that dragon. I'm gonna go ahead and smite this and look towards this dragon because I think they're probably doing it and that I can do something about it. They're not doing it, which is very interesting. I guess they assumed that I would be able to stop them if they did, so they decided against it. Uh, but I'm still ahead in farm against the cane, and I feel like I'm still relatively powerful. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep playing as if I'm ahead. Uh, their mid laner is definitely ahead. Their bot lane is ahead. But the game is by no means lost. There's no reason to give up already. Uh, so we will just go ahead and continue to farm our jungle as we do. And then once I am done farming this, because I don't know where the cane is, but I can look bot lane to get something done down there. I do have ghost again. I did not mean to pop my empowered there. That's a little unfortunate, but it'll be okay. We do see the cane right there. I'm now level seven. He's also level seven. I'll walk down here and look. Our bot laner, like our AD carry backed. It's a little unfortunate. 
But as she's coming back, I can ping that I'm coming here. I can ghost. Go ahead and pop hey, my aim. Go. You're going nowhere. Okay, pop my abilities on her. I think we can get both of them here. Amazing. Now we can go and get this dragon. Because I think if they try to contest us, they will lose. Uh, because I have my bot lane with me and their bot lane is dead. I do also have a fair amount of gold. My, my mid laner also backed. Uh, but my top laner is winning as well. But I have my smite, so I think we can secure this pretty easily. So I'm just going to keep hitting this even though he's walking up. Secure that. And then I can walk at him here and maybe get something done. Get Pop this. Pop this. Stun him. Oh, and getting snared inside her ultimate again. That's just... Hey. I, I, I don't know. They, they, they're just stunning the inside of those ults. Feels bad. All right, so as we spawn here, our next item is probably going to be Jock Show. Uh, I am going to look for uh, these grubs because they're going to despawn in a couple of minutes. I know my top laner just died, uh, but as long as I'm not getting snared inside an MF ult, I think that I am pretty strong here. Uh, he has gotten a CS lead on me. I'm guessing because he was CSing mid. That might be how. He might be working on those grubs right now. I want to go and stop him from doing that. Just wanted to grab this on my way. Vlad being strong is very scary. It's a very scary thing to have happen. Uh, so he's not on these, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on him. Because I think that getting these is gonna be more important than just trying to stop him from pushing that tower and giving away my position on the map. Hey, you should leave a comment telling me which champions you want to see in the coming videos. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Go ahead and cut off this wave so that our push will come in faster. And then look into his jungle. Go ahead and grab this. Teemo is backing. I feel like we should be pushing that tower, but I cannot mind control my teammates, unfortunately. Um, so I, I agree that he should have been pushing that tower, but he backed, and there's there's nothing I can really do about that. Uh, but I will go and push this mid lane since my mid laner has decided to go bot side. So that we're not losing out on all this gold and XP under the tower. And then I will go back to farming my jungle, as always. I'll go top lane. I don't know if I can kill this top laner or not, but I can definitely stop him from pushing this tower, which is something. Uh, I don't know where my top lane is. I guess my top laner is down here. I know exactly where he is. But I will go ahead and just pop this. I actually can't beat him. That's crazy. Well, good thing my team came to bail me out. All right, getting some resistances is good. I'm going to run towards bot side because it looks like they are going to try to dive under here. And while she may die, I think that I can bail out uh, the rest of my team. I don't think she should have jumped in there. Oh, she didn't even auto attack her. That was a large mistake. That feels pretty bad. Too much she said. I mean, you didn't have to jump in. That was really... <laughs> where you went wrong there, but that's fine. I'm not gonna all in them. Are you insane? I'm gonna pop this and try not to die. Let's go ahead and get some farm to keep myself in the game because if you get farm, you're still getting gold and XP. And that's important. If you're not getting golden XP, you start to fall really, really far behind. Um, so getting golden XP is very, very important. Uh, they're shoving this wave. My is going to start coming in. I might be able to do something here. Make something happen. Pop that. You will never get this. You will never get this. faster than me. I don't understand. 
Not even close, baby. That's really good for us, making sure that I don't die there and making sure that my ASO gets some resources. Both very nice things. Hey, you're still here. You're watching. You should subscribe. You should subscribe for more videos like this. More videos like this if you subscribe. Do that. Please get back on the map. Okay, I'm going to start running towards this uh, dragon because they have been spending a lot of time in bot lane, which makes me think that they're going to continue to do that and then try to take the dragon. So I'm going to walk this way, try to help them out. Our support is still in base, which makes me think that I can't really contest them right now. So I'm going to hit this. But now I will start walking towards bot. See if I can't get something done down here. I'm guessing they're going to want to try to come and take this, no? What is my mid laner doing? He's in base. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to come over here then. No! God! No! God, please, no! No! Okay, well, we got his flash. I'm not sure about that ult, but uh, we got his flash out of the way, so that's nice. Let's start looking up this way. I do have a camp here that I can take. Just to keep getting gold and XP into my pocket. Another level here. Okay, well if they're doing that, then I'll just go ahead and hop on this. And then go back to getting some more gold and XP in my pocket. Now, this looks like it's going to be a difficult game, but I think that we can be in the right places at the right time, doing the right things in order to carry this game. Uh, so I'm going to start running up towards here, because it looks like a fight is about to break out, and I can definitely be a part of this. Um, I'm doing some interesting things over there. Some wards up. Start walking this way. Well, I don't know about all that but start walking down. Okay, and then he flashes out. That's good for me. I think he wins that, but he decided not to try, so. And we go ahead and use our W because he's isolated to get a free kill out of that. So we win that fight, which uh, I don't know that we were meant to, and I get a bunch of kills under my belt. So even though this game is hard, just getting more XP, more gold, more XP, more gold, being part of fights, more XP, more gold, that's how we're going to get into it. That's how we're going to make sure that we can win this game, is just by being present at important fights and making sure that we have enough XP and gold under our belt to compete with the enemy team. So one of the things that they have is a lot of healing. Um, the problem is they don't really have to auto attack me to get that healing. So it feels like this thorn mail is not going to be the best purchase. But how else can I really cut healing? So we're going to get it anyway. And I'm just going to be here to kind of scare them off because I think that if I'm not, that very bad things could happen. And right now he's just kind of cut off from the rest of his team. So. That's good. Do I pop my ghost here? I don't think we catch them even if I pop my ghost, so I'm just going to kind of stay off here to the side. Um, and somebody needs to go bot and figure that out. I guess it's going to be me, because uh, nobody else seems to be wanting to do it. My fear is that now that I go and do this, my team is going to die mid, which is exactly what's going to happen. And she's also gone, so I don't even get anything out of walking down here, so I should have just stayed mid. As soon as I walk off, bad things start to happen. <laughs> um, but I mean, I can still do things here. Uh, I wish Aesol wasn't dead, but I can definitely step over here and kind of scare them off. Just kind of run uh, interference here. Now, I kind of thought Teemo that would walk up and try to do something, but he did not, which is very interesting. 
So, I mean, I'm trying to run like line of scrimmage, but it is not working out. And it looks like I might actually die. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my ghost and start walking over this way. Um, <laughs> feels like somebody else should be here, but um, yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to be fighting with my A-Soul, or I'm never going to get anything done. Just make sure I'm always fighting with A-Soul whenever possible. He is here now. We try to get something done. With that ult. And we have Dragon coming up in a couple of seconds. We can push up these lanes. And just make sure that we're fighting around Aesol, because he seems to be the one that is having success within the game. So we want to continue to fight around him. Now, their team is going to spawn soon. So what I'm going to do is, while this is spawning, I'm going to try to continue to get some resources. Run him back into my team. can't actually stun him because he just keeps going invulnerable, but uh, at the moment I feel like we can go ahead and take this. We are down a member, so it's a little dangerous, but they did use a lot to get over here. Teemo is fighting them off at the moment. Oh no. Okay, we kill the Vlad, which is big. Get him off my team. Stun her. Okay. Ping the Baron and just run over there and get that. And all I'm doing is running frontline for my carries. Running frontlines for my carries allows them to do damage. Kane is going to be here very soon. But I'm able to get that. Perfect. All right, and we will go ahead and finish this item, and then we will start going for our Force of Nature. If he starts to walk down here, I can try to cut him off. I don't like this. I don't like this. Just gonna walk out for now. I'm very tanky now. Kind of just slow them all down. So that they can't just walk away from me. Get a triple kill. Just tank for my team. And that's why I think that Udyr is super good for these low ranks, because he becomes... He does damage, he's so tanky, he has stuns, he has slows, like... He just interrupts the battlefield in such a significant way that as long as your team has any ability to fight back and try to kill the enemy team, you can just kind of stand there and be a nuisance, and they can't ignore you because you do too much damage to be ignored. So the next objective that's coming up is going to be this dragon right here. So we're going to go ahead and want to do that when it comes up. That'll be our soul. As of right now, they're fighting down here. It's kind of a little iffy, but they won, so it's fine. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and get this. My mid laner just backed. So I'm just trying to make people aware of what's going on on the map and if you feel like you're a player that has a better grip on you know how to play around objectives and how to time things like that then i think it's important for you to make your team aware of those things now, you don't have to spam ping things you don't have to make your team mad uh, but as long as you just kind of put it out there like hey dragon's coming up soon maybe we should be around for that you know a lot of the times people will react to that now that depends on your team and their ability and their mental but as long as they look at the chat and they don't for some reason think that you are inting them then you can definitely i'm gonna run to the side here because i don't want to get bound by that lux and we're just going to continue to exert some pressure here 
And I want them to kind of walk in here during this dragon. I want them to try to walk into us because I think that we will beat them. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it for pressure. And then if they walk up, we can just run into them with Ghost. And if they don't, then we get Dragon Soul. So it's just a win-win. Go ahead and smite that. I'm going to go ahead and pop my Ghost. Fast as fuck, boy. Run this way. Kill the Rady Carry. Just pick off these people that are in the back. And right here, we should just win the game. This should be the end. Uh, my entire team's backing while their team is dead, which is very interesting uh, <laughs> way to play the game. But I think that we can just walk up and end, especially since Tristan is coming up. I think that that makes it a, a definite thing that they can't stop us. This is going to be dead before they are even able to spawn and stop us. So even though the game looked hard in the in the early game, you know, you just you keep farming, you keep getting gold and XP, and you play your role correctly. Here I was playing kind of like a DPS tank, where I was in the front, I was tanking for my team, and I was able to provide a front line so that they're able to do damage, and it led to a victory. So if you want to learn how to do that with a bunch of different champions, check out my playlist for uh, how to escape low elo, and I have a ton of examples, and I I would be more than happy to see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.